Can't you see the possibilities? Magazine covers, festival circuits, the Academy Awards. Okay, Maxie, let's bring it back down to earth for a second. <laughs> Dream big or go home. This is the chance of a lifetime, Lulu. You just need to take it. Well, if you're so into the idea, Maxie, why don't you star in Dylan's movie? Excuse moi Uh, Lulu, can I have a word with you for just? Oh no! What is to discuss, Maxie? Why don't you try acting in the film? I didn't even say anything about myself. Do you know how rare that is? Well, I don't see what the problem is. Dylan hasn't been able to find the right actress for the role, and if you think that playing Marjorie is the opportunity of a lifetime, put your money where your mouth is and audition. So I guess more. The mayor's not happy that we didn't have enough to hold Rick for Silas Clay's murder. Well, oh, you didn't have a choice. You couldn't tell her the truth. Well, the truth, the truth is I wanted to, to cut the mayor off at the knees and tell her that we, the case was closed, but of course I couldn't do that because we're not ready to tell her why we had to let Rick go. Well, he's going to lead us right to Silas Clay's killer. I will. Uh, but I, I don't even have any experience, not even theater in high school. Neither do I, and that didn't stop you from telling me to quit my day job and do this. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> I mean, I am the director here, after all. Right. I can't just audition out of nowhere. Oh, come on. It will be fun. What's the worst that could happen? If you don't think that you can do it, you've got nothing to lose. I got nothing. N Dylan, you, you are the director. I mean, do you really want me to audition for Marjorie? A character you put your whole heart and soul into creating? Do you want to hear me say those words? Of course he does. Like Lulu said, what do we have to lose? Fine. Why don't you uh, take a few minutes to look over the script and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take it from the top. I gotta hand it to you two. This plan works. Not only will Silas Clay's killer be brought to justice, we'll have earned enough, enough goodwill in the public to just, you know, force Lomax to just back off for a bit, for a few months. Yeah, at least a few weeks, right? <laughs> Either way, detectives, this is excellent work. Well, thank you, but I was just following my partner's lead here. Yeah, once I, uh, once I stumbled onto Silas's signature on that document, all the pieces just kind of fell together. Well, I can't wait to hear what evidence you have that I killed Silas Clay. Bring it on. With pleasure. You familiar with this document? You know I am Nathan, so are you. Can you identify it? It's conservatorship of Nina's inheritance. <laughs> yeah. Now, I knew that Nina needed to sign this document. But I didn't realize Silas Clay's signature was required as well. Now, you care to explain to us how Silas Clay's signature got onto this document that you prepared? Dated the night Silas was murdered, no less. I I've never seen this page or this, this signature before in my life. Rick, are you okay? You look a little, a little weird. Yeah, he does look a little weird. What do you think that is, Dante? You think that's because he's lying? No, you know, I don't. I think it's actually because he's telling the truth for the first time in his life. I've never seen this. No, no, this, this page was not in the document that I prepared. If you want us to buy that, you're going to have to play ball. Yeah. Lucky for us, Rick made the right decision. So, you want to tell me what that was all about? Sometimes. Maxie gets what she thinks is a really great idea. Usually involves getting someone to do something that they don't want to do. I see. So when people resist... Maxie gets a little... Relentless. Exactly. But sometimes the only way to get her off your back is to turn the tables. So you're saying an Academy Award... We'll probably not be going to Maxie, no. <sighs> Dylan, this script, it's, it's really good. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's a little heavy, but, uh... You actually care what happens to those losers. You think they're losers? In a relatable sort of way. Welcome to independent film. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this audition going.